First prize is a $100 gift voucher courtesy of Gallery Serpentine and also a bag of lovely after dinner mint tea courtesy of the, of the rabbit hole. Second prize, of course, is this lovely tea holster that I am wearing, which is, of course, of course courtesy of Dr. Adam Archer, who was it was. And third prize will, of course, be a hip glass and shot glass set, courtesy, of course, of Gallery Serpentine. This afternoon, Vega Bar would like to let you know that we're actually having some meal specials, so we can get hungry in the proceedings. So we're having $5 cups of pasta, which is organic chicken and tomatoes and onions and all the good stuff. And also $10 Angus burgers, and they just come on their own. Definitely recommend the Angus burger. It's pretty good. Now, if you're all wondering, if you're all here and you're thinking, what the hell is going on? I'm going to explain this to you. Tea drilling is a game that came from England, but also got very popular in America, which has now come to Australia. The first ever drill that was held in Australia was held at Steamfest this year in Ipswich, which was to some great delight and great success. The Chipman Master, of course, was the Honourable Jeannie Foxen, of course, the wonderful author and and, and also playwright and all the rest of that. Yes. And I happen to be assisting him. Since, of course, I have a bit of experience, people said, well, why don't you do it? So, well, why not? So, of course, I think fell in the place and here we are. The rules say as follows. First of all, you must only use black tea, herbal and green are banned. No, none of this, you know, none of this spicy stuff and whatever. Chai will go away. No, no, no. The tea that we're using this afternoon, courtesy of the rabbit hole, of course, is their grey rabbit, which is Earl Grey, and Assan, which of course is a wonderful, beautiful tea. Oolong, English breakfast, and Billy tea are also, are also allowed to be used. Now, what you need in this, of course, is two cups of sauces. You need yourself, we have a bread and butter plate, just to show. Then, of course, you have your teapot, your sugar bowl, and your milk jug. We also, the biscuits that we use will be Scotch finger biscuits as per regulations of our, of our rules. And you also may use mice and also milk coffee. Ginger nuts are specifically banned due to the fact that they just won't break no matter what you do to them things. <laughs> also too, we are also do not use chocolate biscuits, anything with cream, jam, anything fancy. You can use digestives, but the thing is though, you have to compensate for the size of your cup and chocolate digestives are banned, right? So how we're going to run this is that being the chip and mistress and the chip and master, we both actually run this drill and we're the ones that make sure you lot stay in line. If you don't, this is what you have. So, first of all I would say to my jewelers, draw your weapons and you will draw your position. Then you will sit there and you will stare down your opponent and suck him out. You can even call him names, you can rag on him, you can do whatever you want, you can do whatever you can to make him think that he's going to lose. I don't care. Though swearing is there. <laughs> but any form of steampunkery stupidity, absolutely fine. Then you will hold your biscuit at least six inches above your cup so there's no sneaky dunking. And then I will say ready and dunk. One, two, three. Four, five, draw. You must withdraw and hold your biscuit upright. You cannot do this or else you'll be disqualified. That's what the Americans do. <laughs> so, how this works is that the last person to eat their biscuit wins. And you're thinking, hang on, that's a little bit too simple. Well, it's not actually. First of all, you must eat your biscuit 90% in one go. This is called a clean knob. And you also cannot get any more than you want to get 60% of your biscuit in the cup. And I will be watching you and I will make sure that you do. Now, there's three ways that you can win this. The first way of course is if you pick it up and it breaks off and it goes into your cup, that's a slash. The second way of course is when you pick it up and you go to eat it and it falls on the, on the table. Well that's a splatter. And the third way of course is the best way. Because if it falls off and you go to eat it, it falls on you, that's a splodge, but you lose with credit. <laughs> okay? In the Australian rules, we like to do three rounds per duel. The Americans like to do one because they're slack. And what we'll do is we'll break this down as a tournament. So the last three people to come first, second and third, they will be our winners. Okay? So, in saying that, Chip and Master, the floor is yours. Shall we call the first duels? Absolutely. Do you have the draw? I do indeed. And ladies and gentlemen, before we do this, can you please give Corinne here a big round of applause from the whole team? Yay! Because if she didn't supply
glass of tea. This one up. Oh, Stephanie, everybody. This is Stephanie from Gallery Serpentine. Yeah. I can see you there, ladies. And of course, I'm decked out by Gallery Serpentine. Now, Potmaster, would you please pour our tea? The Potmaster, everybody, is here to control and brew the tea. Her job is to make sure that it's at the right temperature, that it tastes good, you know, that it smells alright, right, and all that kind of stuff. So our first rule is, can we please have Timothy Baker versus Jardine Simpson? Yeah. Yeah. Music, please! Oh, yeah. And just turn it. Come from a higher level. Give up the higher level. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah,